Hi and welcome to this video where we look at how to implement signature verification to authenticate webhooks. We begin by looking at a common vulnerability with webhooks which allows any client to send requests to a webhook URL. This vulnerability is what we'll be fixing by authenticating our webhook URL using signature verification. We'll start by setting up a webhook on Shopify. This webhook comes with a secret that Shopify will use to sign our webhooks. On our server, we will then implement the signature verification check by computing the webhook signature and comparing it to the one sent by Shopify. We then try to send a request from an unauthorized client and see how the verification process blocks that request. We also trigger an actual Shopify webhook and as expected, it passes the authentication check, confirming that our webhook URL is now protected from unwanted requests. Finally, we demonstrate how signature verification prevents man-in-the-middle attacks by trying to send a compromised payload using a verified signature. Ready to begin? Let's get right into it. So in this video, we're going to be implementing signature verification on Shopify webhooks. To begin, I have a node server running here at port 1337. I already have a webhook URL generated by the Ookdex CLI that points to one of my routes here, this log webhook route that logs a subset of the payload of the Shopify webhook. And uh, another URL or another endpoint where I can fetch the logged webhook data. Now, this webhook URL that I've generated using the Ookdex CLI is meant for a Shopify webhook. But if I copy it and go into Postman, put it in the address bar. Now, this is a payload, a simple payload that simulates a malicious payload. You see, we have evil, dangerous, compromising, and some sort of evil binary here. So, if I send this request, and by the way, this request also has the HMAC Shopify header that I just set to a random figure. If I send this request, I get a success from Ookdeck as usual because Ookdeck will definitely acknowledge this webhook. But if I go to my CLI, I see that this webhook is also acknowledged by the server. The server is returning this 201, meaning that it logged this malicious webhook. If I go to the event page, we see that this webhook is successfully logged. As you can see, if I scroll down and click on attempt, you see webhook successfully logged. And if I go to the endpoint that fetches my webhook, that's the fetch webhook logs endpoint, you can see that the malicious data is now inside my database. Now we don't want that. We need a way to restrict this webhook URL, this webhook URL that Ookdeck generates for us. We need to be able to restrict this webhook URL to only receive webhooks from Shopify. And that's why we're going to be implementing signature verification. With signature verification, Shopify is going to calculate a signature for the webhook and send it to our endpoint in an header, in a special Shopify header. And on our endpoint, we're going to calculate the same signature using the payload, the HMAC algorithm, and our secret. There's a Shopify secret that will be given to us by Shopify, and we're going to use this secret to calculate the signature. We'll then compare the signature that Shopify sent, that's the one that was cal calculated on the Shopify end, with the signature that we computed. Compare these two. If there's a match, then we have a successful verification. And if it doesn't match, that means the webhook is either malicious or has been tampered with in some way. So to begin, let's first set up a webhook on Shopify. Going to go to settings, scroll down the side menu and click on notifications. I'm going to scroll down this page. The webhook section is on the last portion of this page. Yeah, we have webhooks. So here I can create a webhook. Click create webhook. Just going to set it for cat update. Yeah, cat update. Then copy my webhook URL. Go back, put it in the URL field, going to set this to the latest API version and save. Good. Now we have our webhook. And if you scroll down a little further down here, you will see that Shopify says that all webhooks will be signed with this key. So this is going to be the key that is going to be used to sign our webhooks. Next, we're going to be implementing signature verification on our API endpoint. So I'm going to go into my code. Then go to server.js, 
to save us some time i'm just going to copy some code snippets over and explain let me go to sublime first i'm going to copy this snippet go back to my project under const app equals express i'm going to paste the snippet i just copied and here we are defining some variables first the signature header name that's the name for the header that shopify uses to send the signature for the webhook then the algorithm that is being used sha256 and this is for the secret key the key that is being used to sign our webhooks and for that i'm going to go to my shopify dashboard and just copy that copy and paste to paste that right in here save that then i'm going to go back to the snippet and copy this middleware function copy back to my project scroll down the section here with a comment that says perform hmark verification i'm just going to put the middleware function under that so we have a function that says authenticate signature and what it basically does is that first it checks if we have uh, a post request and if it has a raw body because you need the raw body of the request to calculate the signature and once we have that we calculate our signature and we compare it with the one sent by stripe that's when we get the header name we use the header name rather to get the header and we compare the hash that we calculated that signature that we calculated with the one sent by shopify rather not stripe uh, and if we don't get a match we return this error message with the 401 that says that the request body that was calculated did not match the one coming from the header let me just uh, adjust the view here so that it wraps so we can see everything good so this is a message we're returning with a 401 message or status code then we apply the middleware to our project so i'm just going to save this then go back to my server where it's running here and i'm going to restart the server so i'm going to shut it down then turn it back on good so now that our server is running once again let's try and send the malicious request from postman let's see what happens so here on postman we let's hit send again we still get success from ook deck because ook deck acknowledges it but now if we go to our ook deck session we see that we get a 401 we get a 401 go to open the event page so that we can see the message that was returned we scroll down click on the attempt we see returns the message that the request body digest that we calculated which is this value this was the value that was computed on our endpoint do not match the one that is being sent by the malicious request and therefore the request is blocked so our endpoint is now protected from unwanted unauthorized clients now let's see what happens when we actually send a request from shopify so back to the shopify dashboard to our webhook i'm going to click this send test notification button to send a sample webhook so that is fired and goes to our endpoint. We we'll check the session. We see that this passes. Shopify authenticates as expected and our endpoint verifies it correctly. And now we can view the event page to see what is being returned. Scroll down, click 201. We see that our webhook has been successfully logged. We go to the log endpoint and refresh. We can now see the actual log from an actual shopify webhook another thing that signature verification helps us protect is man in the middle attacks and this occurs when someone grabs an authenticated session and manipulates the payload so we have a signature that is passing but someone can pick that signature and manipulate the payload in order to trick our application into accepting that request thereby dumping a malicious payload into our database so to demonstrate how signature verification prevents that, I'm going to go to the successful request and copy the header, the signature that just passed. That is this signature, X Shopify HMAC SHA256. I'm going to copy this signature and use it for the malicious request. Now, do note this signature passes our verification test. So, an attacker grabs this signature and tries to trick our project into accepting. The malicious payload I'm going to replace the sha 2568 mark with the one that passed the verification test but still retaining the malicious payload now let's see what happens when i try to send this hit send Ugdeck acknowledges 
If I go back to the session, I see I still get a 401. I still get a 401. The signature verification still ensures that this malicious request does not pass through because the payload is different from the one that is actually being sent by Shopify that generated this signature that was able to authenticate successfully. See, I get 401. If I click on the 401 uh, attempt, it still tells me that what is being calculated is not equal to what Shopify is sending, which is good news because we know that our endpoint is also protected from man in the middle attacks. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And for more videos on webbook security and webbooks in general, do subscribe to our channel. Happy coding.